Welcome back YouTube, I have Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and in today's video I'm going to review this very powerful mouse from Logitech it's called MX Master 3 and this mouse is very well known for people who are using their computers for video editing and graphic design because it has a lot of features it's very comfortable to use and it has very high precision and when you take a look at the box here, you will see the mouse looks different than any other mouse. It has a very nice ergonomic design. You have this area where you can rest your thumb and it has some kind of angle to, minim to minimize the stress on your wrist. You also have two scroll wheels here, one for vertical scrolling and one for horizontal scrolling. Some programmable buttons based on the application you are using, the actions will change. And also you get this kind of nice feature, which is called flow cross computer control, where you can transfer text and files between your computers either if they are on the same operating system or different operating systems and the most important thing that got me hooked up is the precise tracking on any surface because if you are using this mouse for video editing or uh, graphic design you need some kind of precision and this uh, mouse has 4000 dpi sensor so i'm gonna com compare my experience between using the mx master 3 and using the current set of devices i'm using for a long time now i have the surface wheel i have the microsoft surface mouse and also apple's magic mouse 2 and as you see here, the price is 399 dirhams, and that's where I live in Dubai. Uh, so it depends on where you live, you might have different prices. So let's open the box and see how the MX Master 3 will perform. But before getting started, let's make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So let's jump in. Now let's do the unboxing and I know it's not very exciting to unbox a mouse but let's do it to give you this nice feeling of getting a new device and here you get another black box inside the outside box that has the MX and Logitech branding let's open the box and the first thing you get here is the mouse and the dongle and I'm going to talk about the features of this mouse later so let's put it aside and you also you get this small box that includes your USB type-c charger port so if you didn't know this mouse has built-in batteries that you can charge using USB type-c and this is a very important thing to use a USB-c because most of the mobile phones we are using now are using USB-c so you can easily use any cable you have if this one gone faulty uh, I'm not sure if you have anything here no so there is nothing inside and you only get this dongle so uh, this mouse connects in two ways you have the Bluetooth way which is you can connect directly or without using this dongle or you can use this one as well uh, and the reason you might use this one if you don't have a Bluetooth connection or a Bluetooth uh, adapter in your PC in addition to the stability or um, if you want something to quickly connect uh, it's better to use this one even if you have Bluetooth in your computer because it will be faster and more reliable connection than the Bluetooth connection so now let's take a quick tour at the mouse itself so here is the mouse itself and it has this nice matte black finish uh, that I do like and it has this kind of texture in this area uh, and the first thing you will notice is how comfortable this mouse is when you put your hand on it it feels like it's filling the palm of your hand and your hand is resting on the mouse uh, if you're going to compare that to a mouse like the, the magic mouse 2 here you feel like this empty space will make your hand always stressed like this because you have to uh, uh, like force your hand to be in this position all the time but when you are using the MX Master 3 your hand is resting on the mouse itself and you get this nice area for uh, resting your thumb as well and you get uh, a nice button here that you can click with your thumb <clears throat> you also get those two buttons that you can easily reach so there are a lot of things you can do with uh, your thumb here in this mouse you can also scroll horizontally by using this horizontal scrolling wheel all right uh, in addition to this button and the normal left and right clicks also this scroll wheel has uh, a lot of features first of all it's a clickable so you can click on it as if it's a button and it uses a new technology uh, called meg speed and this technology will give you 
at the ability to scroll really fast. So if you give it a quick scroll, it will not stop. It will keep scrolling for a few seconds. So for example, if you are scrolling through a very long Excel sheet, you can simply keep doing this quick scroll and it's going to make your life easier. Or you can do the normal scrolling and you're going to get this tick uh, effect that you get with any normal scrolling wheel that gives you the feeling of precision. So you have the both ways in the uh, scroll wheel here. Also, this wheel doesn't have the same technology. Uh, it only works like a normal scroll wheel that you can scroll with your thumb. All right. And finally, if you take a look at the bottom, you will see this sticker that gives you a quick uh, uh, tutorial on how to connect your mouse. And when you take it off, you will see the switch between the Bluetooth connection and the connection through the dongle. You have the sensor and you have a quick switch button. And this button will give you the chance to connect between three different computers by giving it a little press uh, and you can quickly jump back and forth between devices. You also get at the bottom those four pads uh, that makes the friction really low if you're gonna use the mouse on any surface. Now let's connect it to the computer and see how it performs in real life. So here's the moment of truth. I connected the mouse and I downloaded a very helpful application called Logitech Options that you can download here from this link. Uh, and the download size is 198 megabytes. This application will simply uh, give you a kind of tutorial, what is the purpose of each button, what are the default settings for each button, and also it will tell you how to customize each button and link itself to your apps. So for example, if you take a look at the application, you will see here Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Premiere, and so on. And if you want the buttons on your mouse to do certain actions for each application, you can choose the application and then click on the button and you will get all the available options that you can choose. And here is the flow feature that I mentioned to you that can allow you to copy stuff between your machines. Either they are on Mac OS or both of them or they are different operating systems. And you get this quick tutorial here if you want to know how to use it. So it's a very helpful feature. Uh, the purpose of this video is not to go through all these software features, but I'm testing the most important things, which are the scrolling, uh, the, the um, uh, precision you get, and also the uh, ease of use and the comfort you have with this mouse. Now I will start with the scrolling and give you an idea how it feels. Here I have an Excel sheet with thousands of rows uh, and a lot of columns to test the uh, horizontal and the vertical scrolling. And here you have the precise scrolling, all right? And if you give it a quick swipe, it will keep scrolling thousands of rows. As you see here, we are in the 5,000s already and it, it stopped here. So with one swipe, I can scroll down thousands of rows in Excel, all right? And if we go back to the top, we can use the horizontal scrolling. And it's also precise. It doesn't have this ticking effect that you get with the vertical scrolling, but still it's a precise. You can move it slowly if you want. So I don't have any issues with the scrolling either vertically or horizontally. Also this button in the middle right here, if you click on it by default, that will turn off the uh, precision or precise scrolling in when you scroll vertically and the wheel no longer give you this ticking effect and it, it feels like a free wheel that you can use freely without any kind of uh, ticking or anything like that. And it only works with the fast scrolling, all right? And if you push it again, then you will get this ticking effect for precise scrolling. And here's another test for Adobe Premiere, which is the most important application for me. Uh, here you can use the vertical scroll wheel to scroll through your timeline. It works uh, as if it's a horizontal scrolling, right? You also can use the horizontal wheel for scrolling as well. So it works either way. Uh, so I think I will use the vertical wheel instead because it feels uh, more precise. You can move frame by frame like this. If you want, if you are in, in, in the video, you can move frame by frame. 
using the wheel which is very important because you need a lot of precision while editing videos uh, or you can use the fast scrolling as you see here it moves really fast through the timeline if you want to go from the edge to the edge you can do it with two swipes maybe or something like that the other two buttons on the left side are very helpful too. They are set by default on the undo and redo actions. So for example, if you moved anything in your timeline by mistake, you can simply undo it using the button or redo it using the other button. And if you are in a browser, that simply works as a back and forward. So you can go back to the previous page or you can go forward. And that's very helpful. And instead of using the keyboard shortcuts, and keep using your other hand to do stuff but you can simply do everything from the mouse which is really easy and i think that will save me some time while editing videos one more button you have here under your thumb it's called gesture button this button by default when you click on it it will show you the task view in windows or mission control in mac and also if you press and hold and move down you can minimize all the applications and go to your desktop quickly or if you press and hold and move up it will bring the start menu in windows or you can also switch between your desktops so you can move either side and you can quickly switch between your desktops so when it comes to comfort this mouse is very comfortable to use because i have it now for a couple of hours i'm using it continuously and i didn't feel any pain in my hands uh, because i'm resting my palm on the mouse body itself which is not the case with either uh, apple's magic mouse 2 or the microsoft arc you still have this empty space that gonna let you keep stressing your hand all the time right which you don't have here and when it comes to productivity this mouse is going to make you a lot more productive because it's going to save you a lot of clicks on your keyboard uh, with a, a single button click you can do a lot of tasks uh, undo redo you can save uh, your progress you can uh, scroll horizontally you can scroll vertically you can uh, map your buttons to match whatever environment you are using if you are using adobe premiere you can set it for certain stuff if you are using excel and so on so it's it's gonna increase your productivity for sure and this is one of the best uh, products i ever purchased and i don't regret purchasing this mouse that will be my daily driver um, and uh, please let me know in the comments what do you think about the mx master 3 and if you're already a user for this mouse uh, share with me your experience if you had any issues with it or not uh, and uh, that's pretty much it for today i hope you like my video and if you do please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos thank you for watching